Hello and welcome to the Ministry of Bridges, your YouTube Bridges channel. My name is Gabriel Nevis and this is the Ministry of Bridges. Welcome to this lesson 5 of Bridge Creator tutorial and now I can show the type 2 plus 2. When I do that, things here will change. You have here the diagrams, they can be a bit complex, some points are complex, and you'll have always the diagram to, to help. Type 2 plus 2 means this is going to be constrained to different points. And if I want to point one to be constrained to point zero and point two, and we know the, the Y is there, let's see, if I press number one there and say it's constrained to zero, and that one is constrained to point two, okay? But there, zero. Now if the point, the point zero goes 100 below, the point one will follow. Let's see the point one. It's constrained horizontally, so the U, so it's the X, 2.0, and constrained vertically to the point two over there. So now let's see the point two is constrained to the alignment, which means if I change there to three meters, the point one will follow. So I'm changing point two, but because the point one is constrained to the point two in V, it will follow. So let's put it back there. So this is not the best way to, to have the, the constraints. It's, we should have the points constrained to the other points, not every single point constrained to the center line. That's not uh, a very good workflow, but it's good enough for, for, for this. So let's do the same with the point four. I want the point four constrained to zero and three. Then if I change zero or three, point four will update automatically. So for that, I need to put type two plus two and do the same thing. But in this case now for the U plan here is three and for the V plan is zero, is zero. And you see there, there, is constrained in V. And now I want to go minus 1500. Well, let's put one meter, one meter there. And here zero. Now I want to change my point three. If I go down, the point four will follow. If the point three is constrained to, to zero there, uh, if by chance my zero there if I change that to 500, this will follow there because it's constrained in this direction, the U direction from there. So this is not very good. Let's put it back and the four will follow. So the same way we can have now the point six constrained to outer face zero and manually do that way, minus two meters, point five constrained to point six, but zero in V and then minus 500 over there. What's happening if I put this point two with 750? The point five will not follow. It will be very nice to have the five in this example to have to follow that one. If we have super elevation, of course not because the constraint will be between six and five. But in this case, I want this five to follow the two. I will change the five to type two plus two. Constraint here at six, it's already there. And now to the point two, oh, sorry, point two there and six here. Okay, so now I'm going to change my point two back to 500 and the point five will follow. If by chance is not following and the cache of the computer uh, it's busy, you can always close and edit again and it will refresh the cache and it will work. Let's try again. 700 goes down, 500 goes up. So if by chance when you're editing the cross section, the points are not updating, you always can close, uh, don't cancel, you, so you click OK and then you edit again and then you'll have the updated uh, cross section if it's th if that is the case. For the point 2 plus 2 we are now uh, covered and next will be the type 3 plus 3 
and uh, we start getting this uh, more uh, complicated. You save, we have everything already there. Don't select anything because we're going to create first time the object, create. And now we have the deck we just created, just change the class here to have a different class. Now it's time for the three plus three. Let's load the file three. This case now I'm going to add something from the library here. This deck do the same and edit this cross section. Change my center line there is the number two is going to be there. It's too large, but doesn't matter for demo purposes. It will be okay. And here I have this number two outline is constrained to the center line, the alignment. This one is constrained to the concrete deck, still with the work plan X, Y. So I'm doing the super elevation minus 100 in Z from the point two. Later I'll show how to do that with the normal super elevation. And now I have this point four constrained to the three, five to the four, and six is constrained to the point five, uh, 1300 to the left, 100 down. Let's try to constrain this point six to this work plan between two and three and to the work plan between four and five. So to do that, we'll zoom here, select the point six, change to type three plus three, and first is the U plan or DX. So this will be between point two and three. Let's put here zero and zero, and there it will be the plan for the vertical plan. It will be four and five. So this happens, but now let's see if I start playing around here with the du in x direction, and if I put minus two meters, you'll see the point six is going two meters away from this plan, but along the x work plan. Let's put here different. You'll see always along that one because this work plan is defined by this point P1, P2, which will be, which is point two and three, which means that if here I say, I want 750 down from that work plan, I go down. So obviously it's too much and uh, maybe it's not the best example, but we could explain. Six is now 2200 from five. Let's change that to 1500. Six is an offset from four and five here, 1500. And then is 500 offset from the point two and three, the plan. So this line here offset at 500. So it's not 500 vertically, it's 500 perpendicular to that plan. So this is the best example I can give you for now uh, for the type three plus three, which could be very useful because we have two work plans so the X plan the, and the Y plan, they are different and we can constrain a point to those different ones. Instead of using the normal parallel, we could change there a couple of things, but this is another way uh, to do things. And then again, if I put zero there, you'll see we are over there, right? So minus 400. And I know I'm 400 perpendicular, not vertical, traditional Y plan. So this is the point three plus three, and then we move to the point two plus three. It's still going to clash, but I'm going to create the object. And if I take the distance from there perpendicular to that plan, we should have 500 or 400. So let me just check. I used six, 400. Draw. Let's move into the other one, and in this case, let's delete because the other one is going to clash anyway. Back to bridge creator, move this away, and now we have the two plus three type, and now edit. And we still can use the point six to show the type two plus three, and let's see the difference. This one we have two pair of of points to define the work plans. This one. We have one point and then a set of points to define uh, the other direction. So for this one here, we could try point 
3 over there, and now here will be 4 and 5. Let's see what's going to happen. It's aligned now to the, to the plan, the 4 and 5. If I want to go to the left 2 meters, just change there. Okay? And then it's aligned to the 3, but 1300 down. So if I put 0, you see? Now is not falling that work plan, is working on our normal X uh, orthogonal. So let's just move for you to see the points are aligned. So if the point three goes down, the six will go down. So a nice way to do this is if I go here and say minus 350 and the distance, vertical distance from three and six, it will be 350. So if I change there, it will be more noticeable. And now the horizontal distance, in this case, because of 4 and 5 are its vertical, could be a different plan, could be this plan. And we could just change something here. If I do the 4 and 5 not vertical, let's put this minus 50. Now the distance here, and you'll see the 6 is offset by 1500 for, from the plan 4 and 5. So it will go perpendicular to the plan 4 and 5, 1.5 meters to, to define the, that. If I put 0, it will follow the plan. So if I now minus 100, this is the perpendicular distance to the plan 4 and 5 is. 100 millimeters. So now minus 1.5 meters. Again, this one here, the starting point is 3. I could change to any other point, but here makes sense. And I want the vertical distance for that one. If I put there 0, it will go there. Now let's see if we press this button um, direction zero it will swap the information so in this case let's put now zero again direction there and you see these three forces so the six goes to the three there if i put 100 there is the projection so this one now from three to six is defined by the plan four and five in this direction and now for the starting point is three let me just change here to zero okay this is getting more confused so point three is the starting point 100 let's put zero and now is the projection of four and five because it's zero everything is zero uh, uh, the values the u and the v I pressed DIR, which means this plan will extend and the point 3 and the point 6, you see orthogonally, it's in the same plan, so vertically. So if I move this there, both points vertically are aligned and then intersects with the other plan. So I can give you another example here. If I take that there, put this back like so, and now here minus 350. I'll give you another example here. Let's put the 5 there as 0 and let's add another point so I can do it on this side. I can do it on this side. So if adding another point, point 0, now the point 0 will be constrained to point 1. Now the 15 constrained to 1. What if, if I want to, to have these extended so that one there point two plus three start from zero there and now the work plan is 14 so 15 and 14 so 15 there 14 there zero and again so instead of trying to find the intersection point of between the plan 14 and 15 which is there and the plan or in this case, horizontal plan from the point one, bridge creator cross section with the point two plus three will do, will do that for you. We still can go and start messing around here with the values. Now this means that I go down 
100 mil vertically from the point one, but still working the automatically the, the distance between 0 and 15 is still automatically found by bridge creator. So I think this is a good example. Sometimes you'll have uh, the need to do something like that. Maybe now I could go to the radius and say, I want to run chamfer here of 50. Let's see what's happening. This could be uh, a good example. It's just extending. So maybe this 100 there is too much. Let's put 80. Oh, much better. So that is the point 2 plus 3. Next will be the point 4. But we need to extrude this for you to see. So save, create. It's not a section that we are proud of. But again, it created there and here. What matters is the way the point 6 over here was created. And that one I put it vertical anyway. Right, so let's delete and move to the next one. Now I want to use the point 4. And the best example is using this one here. I want a point between 3 and 4. So I'm going to select 3. Path, and I'm going to point 4 and I will change to type 4 and the type 4 we have two inputs here P1, P2 so it will be the point 3 and the point 5 because I'm working the point 4 let's put that 0 there 0 here 50% so now the point 4 is in midway between P1, which is 3, and P2, which is 0.5. So if I change the distance here of the point 3 to 700, the 4, it, so the distance between 4 and 3 is the same as 4 and 5. Because I put there on the 4, 50%. I could have done different, 25%. So 25% of the distance between 3 and 5, or whatever it is, or even I could do the 50% and then still force to go 50% and then 100 millimeters. So here I'll put zero again, can go mid point there and now I go down 250. And now I could again say here radius and use something here uh, interesting for us to see. Something like that. Let's see if we can put larger radius. Nice too much. One meter. Something like that. For this to be better. Here. One meter. Sounds much better. So the type 4 is much easier to understand. We define the point 1 and point 2. And then the distance we want our new point to be between those. And then we still have du and dv as a, we can manipulate that way. So if I say OK, this one will be a very simple example. And very useful. This one is very useful. I hope this lesson was useful. And stay tuned for the lesson 6 for the cross-section editor. I appreciate if you leave a comment, like and support your Ministry of Riches channel by clicking the subscribe button. It's all for now, Bridge Modelers. See you in the next episode. And have a Bridge Creator Day.